What is prostate cancer? Prostate cancer cells are the growth of cancer cells in the prostate, a gland in the male reproductive system. Many prostate cancer cells are slow growing, nevertheless, some expand reasonably swiftly. The cancer cells might spread out from the prostate to various other locations of the body, especially the bones as well as lymph nodes. It might originally create no signs and symptoms. In later phases, it can cause trouble being, blood in the pee or discomfort in the hips, back, or when peeing. A condition called benign prostatic hyperplasia might generate comparable signs and symptoms. Various other late signs and symptoms might consist of sensation tired as a result of reduced degrees of a red cell. Elements that boost the threat of prostate cancer cells consist of older age, a family history of the condition, and also race. Concerning 99% of instances take place in men over the age of 50. Having a first-degree loved one with the illness raises the threat two to threefold. In the USA, it is much more typical in the African-American populace than the white American populace. Various other variables that might be entailed consist of a diet plan high in processed meat, red meat or milk items or reduced in specific veggies. An organization with gonorrhea has actually been located, however, a factor for this connection has actually not been recognized. The enhanced threat is related to BRCA anomalies. Prostate cancer cells are identified by biopsy. If cancer cells have actually spread out to various other components of the body, clinical imaging might after that be done to establish metastasis. Kids cancers capable of spreading through the body due to two mechanisms, invasion and metastasis. Invasion is the migration and direct penetration of cancer cells in neighboring tissues. Metastasis is the ability of cancer cells to penetrate the blood and lymph vessels, travel through the bloodstream, and then grow into a new focus metastasis, in normal tissues of another part of the body. Metastasis, from the Greek moving from a place or transfer, is the process of propagating a cancerous focus to an organ other than the one in which it began. It usually occurs by blood or lymph. Approximately 92% of deaths from undetected cancers are due to their metastasization. Actually, although it is the best known, metastasis is not only limited to the spread of cancer cells, but it is also about metastasis when a plunger develops the same process of origin cancer, infections again in the place where the embolism, erectile dysfunction or ED, may, although not necessarily, be an inability to achieve a satisfactory erection, an inconsistent ability to do so, or the tendency to have only short erections. These variations make it difficult to define and calculate its incidence. The calculations vary from 20 to 30 million cases, depending on the definition used. According to the National Ambulatory Medical Care NAMCS, survey, for every 1,000 men in the United States, there were a total of 7.7 .7 visits to the ED doctor's office in 1985. In 1999, the frequency almost it had tripled to 22.3. The increase occurred gradually, presumably as treatments such as vacuum devices and injectable medications became more widely available and the discussion of erectile dysfunction began to be accepted. It is possible that the most publicized advance was the introduction of the oral medication sildenafil citrate Viagra in March 1998. NAMCS data on new medications show an estimate of 2.6 million mentions of Viagra in doctor's office visits in 1999, and one-third of those mentions took place during visits for a diagnosis not related to ED. Primary prevention. Current information on prostate cancer risk factors suggests that some cases may be prevented. A possible risk factor that can be changed is the diet, there being a relationship, for example, between the consumption of red wine polyphenols and a lower incidence of this type of cancer. 1. The risk of suffering from this cancer can be reduced by consuming a diet low in fat and rich in vegetables, fruits and cereals. It seems that vitamins and mineral supplements may decrease the risk of suffering from it. The mineral selenium can also reduce the risk. However, you should consume vitamin supplements with caution. A richly varied diet with a predominance of plant-based foods than animals, which contain all these micronutrients and act positively and synergistically, is more advisable. Early detection. It can often be detected early with the prostate-specific antigen PSA, blood test. Prostate cancer can also be detected early when a rectal examination is performed. 
Because the prostate gland is located just in front of the rectum, with the rectal touch you can see if there are nodules or areas of hard, woody, consistency in the prostate that often indicate that there is cancer. If these tests are performed annually on a routine basis and if any of the results were abnormal, we are likely to diagnose cancer early. The American Cancer Society believes that health professionals should offer the blood test for the specific prostate antigen, commonly called PSA, prostate specific antigen, and rectal examination annually from age 50. To men who have a life expectancy over 10 years old men at high risks, such as African Americans and men who have first-degree relatives father, brothers, uncles, diagnosed with prostate cancer at an early age, should be tested at age 45. Health professionals should provide their male patients with an open dialogue about the benefits and risks of testing annually. Patients should be actively involved in this decision to learn about prostate cancer and the pros and cons of early detection and its treatment. The screening study for prostate, lung, colorectal and ovarian cancer, funded by the National Cancer Institute of the United States, is designed to show whether certain screening tests can reduce the number of deaths from these cancers. This study is evaluating the usefulness of early detection with the rectal examination and blood PSA levels in men aged 55 to 74 years. The results will be available from 2010 when the study ends. Rectal touch. Although the rectal examination is less effective than the PSA test in blood, to detect prostate cancer, it is essential in the early stage to be performed as part of the physical examination, because sometimes nodules, induration, irregularities or asymmetries can be palpated in patients who have normal PSA levels, and who would require a biopsy, to rule out or confirm the presence of prostate cancer. For this reason, the guidelines of the American Cancer Society recommend the joint use of both the rectal touch and the PSA blood test for early detection. Rectal touch is also used when it is known that you have prostate cancer, to classify the disease status and determine, clinically, if cancer has exceeded the prostate gland's limits or detect recurrences after treatment. Foods that cure an inflamed prostate. Elimination diet. Saw palmetto. Quercetin. Bee pollen. Fiber foods. Foods in omega-3. Foods in zinc. Foods in probiotics. Fruits. Vegetables. Saturated fat. Increase. Most prostate cancers grow very slowly and persist for a long time without causing significant symptoms. Autopsy series studies show that most older men who die from other diseases also have prostate cancer that nobody had diagnosed before. Only about one-third of the cases that are discovered in necropsy have manifested clinically. It is also unknown if tumors can become more malignant over time. Biopsy. The biopsy of the nodules of the suspicious areas and random areas allows cancer to be detected in only half of the patients presenting with the indurated prostate. The biopsy also helps determine whether or not the cancer is multifocal. In more than 30% of patients, a needle biopsy cannot discover cancer, having to resort to subsequent repeat biopsies. Hollow needle puncture biopsy, core biopsy is the preferred standard technique for diagnosing prostate cancer. A biopsy is a procedure in which a tissue sample is removed and examined under a microscope. Transrectal ultrasound is used to guide and insert a thin, hollow needle through the wall of the rectum in some areas of the prostate gland. The needle removes a cylinder of tissue, usually 1 cm long and 2 mm wide, which is sent to pathology to examine for cancer. Biopsy samples are sent to the pathology laboratory. The pathologist, a doctor who specializes in diagnosing diseases in tissue samples, will determine if there are cancer cells in the biopsy, examining it under a microscope. This analysis usually takes 1 to 3 days. If there is cancer, the pathologist also assigns a grade Gleason scale. The Gleason classification scores from 1 to 5 the degree of differentiation of the two most representative cell lines in the tumor, which, when added, give a score of 10. Score 2 to 4. The tumor was well differentiated. Score 5 to 6. Mildly differentiated tumor. Score 7 to 10. Tumor little differentiated or indifferentiated. A higher score, lower tumor differentiation, and therefore greater severity and worse prognosis. A prostate biopsy is essential to confirm the diagnosis and is indicated when nodularity is discovered when performing the rectal examination. 
When determining an elevation of the serum PSA or any alteration in the imaging tests, or when symptoms of the lower urinary tract appear in a male who has no known causes of obstruction.